Let's just get settled into a nice, comfortable, seated posture. And uh, if you're sitting at your desk in front of your computer with your feet down, have them about a hips width apart. So if you if you cross your legs at the ankles or at the knees, it it impacts the pelvis and the rest of the spine. So we want to try and keep everything nicely aligned. So the blood, the lymph, the breath, the chi is all flowing nicely. And it's not about being correct so much about giving yourself the best possible chance to be able to concentrate, to be able to relax and focus. So try and sit on top of your sits bones as best you can. So not leaning back into your sacrum, shoulders aligned with the hips and your ears aligned with your shoulders. And imagine your spine is this a beautiful string of pearls of light that stretches from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond and just lengthen your spine. Trying to put some space in between the vertebrae. And just at the crown of the head, just re relax your scalp and the forehead and the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, the jaw, back of the tongue. And I'll allow uh, your, just the back of the head to relax. Allow your shoulders and shoulder blades just to drop down, relax the throat and the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. Have your hands just resting comfortably on your quads, your thighs or in the traditional meditation mudra for our tradition, which is the right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. And bring your attention to the breath. Just notice the sensations of the air as you inhale and exhale. Be aware of any sound in your environment, trying not to run off and investigate with the mind sounds. So you may have people living in your house or pets, children. Just allow the sounds to be there. And notice what might be arising in your mind this evening. Again, putting some space in between your thoughts. And just look at the thoughts as they're arising with an attitude of curiosity. Observation. So implicit in that word observation is a lack of criticism. You're not making any judgments or having any opinions about what is in the mind. Just allow the thoughts to arise and abide. without necessarily following a story. Just be curious about what's there. Just observe. And bring to mind some people of your life. So you, can, you start with these people you love, <clears throat> our very precious friends, spouses, children, and then we have people in our life we don't get along with so well. Sometimes we don't even like them. And then we have our strangers. So these different groups of people, these relationships we have with these different groups of people can be interchangeable due to this idea of impermanence. Everything changes. 
from the moment it comes to in exi into existence. And they're all equal, these people, regardless of our relationship with them at any particular time. They're the same as you and me in their wish to be happy, the wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for a Buddha mind. So think we'll do this meditation this evening for all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings and by and for Lorraine's friend, Wokas. Wokas. So we start this purification process by thinking there is no negativity that can't be purified. And, and we're looking at the mind here, we're working with the mind, so we're working with psychology. We create negativity with our mind, so equally we can change it by creating positivity instead. And we start with this power of regret. So we're doing this practice in the content, in the context of the four opponent powers, the first of which is regret. So sincerely regret <clears throat> from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day in this life and in all of our past lives. And, and think of specific actions of both your body and your speech and then in general regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma, this natural law, cause and effect. And we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions, and having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. We cannot bear the thought of the <clears throat> future suffering that we will experience. And we know from our present suffering we don't want any more. So logically it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, uh, because I don't want any more suffering. I'm sick of suffering. So also regret any anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and then think I'm sick of this suffering and then think, so what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to this power of reliance. It's got two little sections one on refuge and the other on developing compassion. So we rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, who we see as a doctor who has these methods that we can use to purify. And we're not necessarily needing Buddha Vajrasattva to forgive us. We're purifying ourselves by relying upon his you know, medicine. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. You can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. And Vajrasattva is made of this beautiful, radiant white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And he has a beautiful, radiant face. His eyes are compassionate, and they look at you with this, and everybody else, the same, just non-judgmental, happy to see you, just Happy to see you exactly as you are turning up this evening. However it is you're turning up is fine. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell. This represents wisdom. The right is holding a vajra. This represents the indestructibility of compassion. And their being crossed represents enlightenment. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings, the very beings we have harmed, and those who have harmed us, by developing a wish for them to be free from suffering, particularly those who have harmed you. Because the suffering they've caused you is going to ripen for them sometime in the future. So then we come to this power of remedy, and this is the medicine, doing the practice of purification. And we start with the body, 
and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart and it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Jita Meboa Sitrukaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Trita me boa, sutra kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, anorecta me boa, sawa siddhi mempi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa mahasamaya sattva a hum pe, and vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, trita me boa, sutra kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, and vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, trita me boa, sutra kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Trita Me Boa Situ Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Drita Me Boa Situ Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Am Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Drita Me Boa Situ Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A so be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is completely purified and think that there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. And next is this purification of our speech and Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and it arcs around and quite forcefully enters your crown and fills your entire body except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech and this overflows and disappears into space not one atom left so imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech lying and talking about people behind their backs and getting other people to agree with you all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra again Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Drita Me Boa Situ Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Drita Me Boa Situ Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa 
Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shiam kuru hum ha ha ho bagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra. Jumami mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So again, feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech, including yourself. Next is this purification of our mind and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So you you know, um, this must be just a traditional Tibetan analogy because I was listening to a book of His Holiness on my way home today and I heard this same analogy again. You walk into a room, it's pitch black, you flick on the switch, it dispels the darkness. So imagine the same thing is here, that the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra and all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your attachments, neediness, anger, violence, depression, anxiety, resentment, jealousy, bitterness, grudges, all of this is instantly dispelled, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra again. Am bhajrasaffa samaya manupalaya vajrasaffa dina patita jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe am bhajrasaffa samaya manupalaya vajrasaffa dina patita jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. Anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. Jita me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa anarakta me boa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagu an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Am bhajra sattva samaya manupalaya vajra sattva dina patita. 
Trita me boa, se tu cae me boa, se po cae me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me pieta sawa kama sita me, sitam shiam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajima me muta vajabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, an bajo sapa samaya manupalaya bajo sapa dina patita. Drita me boa, situ kaye me boa, sipo kaye me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajima me muta vajabawa maha samayo satra a hum pe. So imagine, be delighted, all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech are completely purified. And think now that there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness, forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is this purification of even the imprints of negativity of our body, speech and mind. And imagine that Vajrasattva now sends light and nectar and it fills you completely and it eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your consciousness. Am Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Trita me boa, situ kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. Am Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Jira me boa, situ kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha ha ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. An vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, drita me boa, situ kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa. Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. An vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, drita me boa, situ kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa. Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. An vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, drita me boa, situ kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa. Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. An vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, drita me boa, situ kaya me boa, sipo kaya me boa, anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. An vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita jira me boa situ kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa an erecta me boa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya satra a hum. So now feel completely purified. There's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. <clears throat> now we come to the fourth of the four opponent powers, which is the power of resolve. So here we need to make a decision. So we just decide we don't want to harm, we want to refrain from harming. And, you know, without this decision, nothing's going to actually happen. So we just decide. So we can start by thinking about something that we'd like to work with. Maybe we have some habit. Maybe talking too much, talking about people behind their backs, maybe eating too much sugar, maybe watching too much, I don't know, TikTok or videos or whatever. Maybe we have a habit to waste time. 
We like to sleep too much. Maybe we don't sleep enough. Maybe we have a lot of negative internal dialogue. So maybe just you can even put like a, a memo on your phone to remind you. Okay, for a minute, I'm going to think about this habit and I'm going to think about refraining from doing it. And, and you know, really rejoice in your efforts to come along night after night doing this practice. Kind of amazing. So rejoice, very important. So imagine Vajrasattva is delighted with us, wants to merge with your mind and melts into white light. This just kind of absorbs into you through your crown, wants to merge with your mind and think my, my teacher's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind and my own body, speech and mind are the same. So, you know, our, our teacher, Lama Zoprambashe, would recommend to meditate on this idea of emptiness. So he would say, in emptiness there is no I, the creative negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, even if it's just the word, place your mind there for a moment. We can think of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. You can also think the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this practice to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. So now we're doing these few little verses of a text called Chanting the Names of Manjushri. Um, uh, Martin, our teacher, passed away over a year ago, so there, there, there's a tradition in the Tibetan Buddhist um, lineage of reincarnation. So here we're requesting, at the advice of His Holiness, to, for, for the swift return of Lama Zoprimpeche. So where are we up to, folks? Uh, Will, where are we up to? <laughs> Sorry, we're 17 through 19. <laughs> so wait, the highlighted is what I'm reading? Yes, that's correct. Okay, the reply. And so the Blessed One, Lord Shakyamuni, the best of men, the fully awakened one, extending from his mouth his handsome tongue, a tongue unmatched in both its breadth and length, displaying a gentle smile to living beings, a smile that fills the threefold world with light, that tames the enemy, the four Maras, that ends unwanted birth in all three forms. His voice melodious like that of Brahma, completely filling all the triple world, replied as follows to the Lord of Secrets, the Vajrapani, strongest of the strong. Okay, so let's just make a strong wish for, um, actually, okay, yeah, I want to see everyone, a strong wish for His Holiness the Dalai Lama to live long, for the swift return of our precious Lama Zoparimbashe, and for all your individual teachers. Doesn't They don't have to even be Buddha, your Buddhist teachers, they can be your yoga teacher, your kindergarten teacher, your anyone who's benefited your mind. Make a strong request for them to live long. Okay. All right, everybody. Lots of love. Sleep well. Thank you so much for coming.